What's up guys, Erroneous here, back with another Rage Shadow Legends video. Hopping right into Live Arena for you today. Let's do it. Hopefully we can get some wins. I actually haven't played in the last couple of days. So, I need to fix my collar here. But yeah, I do want to get into some Live Arena battles. Haven't really been super active. Uh, just busy with work, you know, home life, things like that. School as well, so. I am in college. I think I probably said that to you guys at least once, but I'm taking a master courses, so it's... It's a lot of extra work and just too tired to make videos and edit videos, to be completely honest. So let's do this. I want to hop in, though, for you and uh, get the show on the road. I might not edit this video much, to be honest with you. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Some people really don't like the music in the background for some reason. Maybe it's too loud or they just don't like it in general. But what do you think? Do you prefer the music or do you prefer no music at all? Personally, I like music in the background when I'm watching videos. Uh, if there's pauses in the video, you know, especially for Live Arena, there's a lot of pauses. Unless you're talking nonstop for like 30 minutes to an hour, which is difficult, by the way. Then, yeah, I do understand not having any music in the background. But anywho, we've got Mithrala and Pytheon. Interesting combo. Interesting combo here. I wonder... I guess I'll go Green Affinity... Maybe I'll do this. Does he go with speed? I don't know. I'm going to take Duchess as well as the Marichka. I think I'm going to throw in maybe a Rodos. Hmm. Maybe Samson. Although Marichka is kind of an. Oh, he's got Lockout. I think I have to ban the lockout. He doesn't have another damage dealer. So I think I'm going to throw in Rodos. Just because he doesn't have another damage dealer. I can also throw in Sun Wukong. Specifically against him. Hmm. Or I could throw in Sammy. Eh. I think I'll stick with Sun Wukong. He is pretty quick. Actually I had. Oh. I rebuilt my uh, Sun Wukong. So he's actually slower. So he's got lockout, but his main damage is just this. Let's just ban Leorius. Throw in speed. Unless he has a really strong Lydia alongside Mithrala. Doesn't seem like it's going to be strong enough. Even if he puts the strength in. I mean, he'll get one revive from Pytheon, but that's it. He can lock me out. That's fine. Oh, wow. His, uh... Maybe I should have did the A2. But his Yumeko is pretty slow. Okay. She's just slightly faster than my Rodos. Trying to take out this Mithrala here. She's super annoying, especially when she places the Hex debuff. She got her ability back. Oh, that's right, because of Yumeko resets. That makes sense. Take out Mithrala now. Let's see if we can force him to put in a revive here. Start focusing on the Yumeko. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get an extra turn. Nope, no extra turn. That sucks. I don't even need my Sun Wukong alive, to be honest. Fine if he goes down, because I can probably finish off the rest with just my Rotos. But we'll see. We'll see. Well, I mean, he's going to revive on his own anyways. I need more ally attacks with my Rotos, though. That would be nice. Okay. Oh, I got feared. You got to be kidding me. Let's go ahead and place a... Oh, nice. We went before his Mithrala. That's big. Yeah, I think this is it right here. 
Take her out. Chunk. And nuke. Alright. Good fight. Let's keep going. Let's keep it going. I actually watched a video from Ash. He had a pretty... He was on someone else's account. And he actually had a pretty decent damage dealer build on his Thor. And he was putting in some work. He was actually putting in some work, to be honest. But I don't think I'm going to build my Thor. At least, I don't think I want to build my Thor for full damage for, like, Arena or anything like that. I mean, I may consider putting him on a team for Hydra in the future, but I have no need for him right now. But eventually, when they buff the Hydra, or rather revamp the Hydra, so that... A lot of the shield growths don't work. I'll probably have to bring him in. I'll probably have to put him on one of my teams. So they're not going to be nerfing. The good news is they're not directly nerfing the this guy right here. What's his face? Uh, Wixwell. But they are indirectly going to be nerfing all teams that have shield growth, basically. I assume. I assume because they did say in a post that they're not going to nerf Wixwell directly. Uh, so that's huge. Um, so I'm not going to just, I'm not going to quit. So that's good. I don't want to quit, but I would have if they straight directly nerfed Wixwell. An indirect nerf, I'm not too worried about, but a direct nerf is what hurts because it was a community champion. Anywho, let me pick before this ends. He's going with speed. He's going with torment. So he's going to try to go as fast as humanly possible here. I think I'm going to do this and probably pick... Ah, do I pick this? Nah, let's go with Marichka instead. Although, the thing with Marichka... Hmm, she doesn't have a full revive. Ooh, Odin's annoying. This guy's bringing in Thor, so he might have some decent damage. But Odin... Probably gonna block Odin. Uh... I think I can bring in Staltus here, actually. And I can't seem to get his chest plate upgraded. I've already farmed thousands worth of energy. And I've already done, I think, five or six attempts for the reascension into defense percent on Staltus' chest plate. And it just won't go through. I think I'm also going to bring in... I mean, I could bring in another champion. Like, for example, I could bring in a Foley. However, if he brings in Sun Wukong, that's a problem for me. That is a bit of a problem. Do I want him bringing in Sun Wukong? You know, let's bring in Rodos just in case he brings in Sun Wukong. I was going to do Foley because of the Tormund, but maybe we'll be good. Staltus is in Stone Skin, so I definitely need to ban this guy, though. Odin is just too, too powerful. He's actually really strong. Alua, that's interesting. Odin does increase the speed of Void Champions as well. 40% speed aura would be nasty. So I'm just going to ban Odin. I'm sticking with the Odin ban. He's banning my Marichko. Wow, okay. I didn't expect that. He's only level 83. I just noticed this. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. I mean, I feel like I should get this win. Staltus stone skin. Yeah, I've got all my guys in stone skin. Unless he does it insane damage. Yeah, he's done. It's over. It is over on this one. Because we're going to start stealing his turn meter. And uh, he can't really do much about that. Here we go. Staltus. Boom! Take him out. There you go. Take that. All right, those were two kind of easier fights. Go. I'll probably start facing some really strong opponents soon. Sega. Man, is it Sega or Saga for the game, for the game console? I don't remember. Very, very old, though. All right. 
So this guy's bringing in Sifi Nakage. Let's bring in speed on this one. I think I still bring in Marichka. And if he brings in UDK with Rodos, we might have a big problem on our hands. I mean, I guess I could just ban the Sifi if he doesn't have lockout as well. And it is a baseline Mikage with no blessing, so that is helpful. Ah, he's going Tormund. Hefrak maxed out too, so he's going to be in Stone Skin. Um, Stone Skin Hefrak. So we've got to bring in Staltus here with Stone Skin. And then for another damage dealer. So damage dealer for the Stone Skin. I mean, honestly, he only has two star Polymorph. I probably could go bombs, but the issue is he'll probably bring in a cleanser. That's my problem. He'll bring in a cleanser. I mean, am I faster than him? I don't know. He doesn't have a speed aura, so I'll probably be faster than him. Unless his CP is just absolutely stacked. So I think I probably will get this win. If I can get the bombs to land. Okay, no cleanser, so we're going to ban the Sifi. No cleanser. He brought in Ramantu. I think he was trying to just beat me outright by placing block passive and then nuking everybody down with the Hefrak. I mean, we'll see. He could be crazy fast, and I'm just not even aware of that. No, he's not. Okay. Well, that's it. I mean... Do I want to put the shields on now just in case I don't kill him? Yeah, let's just do it just in case. Strengthen and shield just in case. I could have got polymorph, but I didn't get polymorph there. And I didn't get polymorph there. Yeah, it's over. GG's. Nishak is the freaking monster, dude. Nishak is so strong. Dudes, like if you don't have Nishak built... You need to build Nishak in a one turn stone skin and full perception, or you could do one turn stone skin and uh, full pinpoint and you can get him in a, so that way he doesn't get sheeped in the beginning. He'll place the bombs, the pinpoint accessory will drop off a, uh, what do you call it? I forget the, the buff. It's the new buff that Wixwell places intercept, intercept buff. The intercept buff will drop off instead of turning into a sheep. So I think that's really, really powerful. Don't sleep on that. Nishak is the man. So, let's see. Going with Arbiter. I think I'm going to go ahead and take Makage. Arbiter. Do I go with the Marichka again? The thing is, he already took speed. I don't really understand why people aren't picking Armands anymore. Either they don't have him, or they're trying to figure out ways to counter him. I don't really get it. Pytheon, this guy looks like he's a free-to-play player like myself. So, respect if you are, man. Respect. Pytheon, probably in two turns, Stone Skin. He's also got the Temporal Chains, just in case to cleanse. Um, probably in high resistance. However, I can bring in Sammy. Potentially. I don't know if Samson is faster than my Nishak, though. That's the issue. Because if Samson's faster than the Nishak, even if he banned my Mikage, my Samson can put increased accuracy on everybody. And then... Nishak would still go in with the bombs, but um, he has no temporal chains either. Should I do this? Let's just go with Sammy now. And then for my last champion, I don't know if I want to go speed or if I want to go like Torment or something. Does he go with double cleanse now because I threw in the Nishak? It's highly possible he goes with double cleanse or he goes with the UDK and Sun Wukong cheese. If he does that, I'll ban the Sun Wukong. Oh, he's got a Laws. Damn. Okay. So, for this one, I need speed. So, if I just bring in a speed champion, I can just go fast. But I don't know who 
Who's my fastest speed champion? I don't remember. Shoot. Shoot. Hurry up. Hurry up, man. Come on. Who's my fastest one? You know what? Let's just throw her in. She's actually really fast. I can ban his speed. All right. Let's go with accuracy. Let's see if I'm faster than him still. I'm at 300 speed on my Alika. I, po I It's possible I give him the win here, but let's see. Psych! I don't give him the win. I'm going to I'm going to win this one. GG's. I'm faster than him with my Alika. Boop. Everybody's locked. Yeah, it's over. Bombs away. Yup. And he doesn't have enough resistance either. Yeah. Ooh, okay. I mean, he'll still get bombed here. I can sleep here. Take him out. And then we can just still take him out. Nice. All right, word. That's a win. Pretty much all damage dealers on that one. We're doing pretty good right now. Let's keep it going. We're at 4,500 now. We broke we broke the plane of 4,500 points. Oh, boy. Going to start facing more stronger opponents. Here we go. The game's like, yeah, we're going to need to pair him up with someone that's Got a ridiculous roster. Let's just try to see if we can find somebody that has a ridiculous roster. Because clearly he's won too many battles. So we need to give him someone that's impossible to beat. 35 seconds. Here we go. Front range. Probably a nasty account. And he's got first pick. Okay, Armands, he's going to pick. Mm hmm. See, that's what people should be doing is picking Armands first. I can go Mikage. I do need, I'm actually not sure, uh, this weekend we have a 2x on Void Shards, and we have a 10x for Odin. I'm actually really interested in going for Odin. What the heck? I just spoke about Odin, he's got freaking Odin and Seafy. Yeah, I'm gonna get throttled. I am gonna get throttled in this one. Oh boy. Because I ban our mons, he th throws in Odin. 40% speed aura for all void champions. And then see if he goes nuts. If he throws in a Harima, I am just, oh boy, I'm done. I am done ski. I mean, maybe if he throws in a Harima against me and I throw here, like it just won't do anything. I would have to throw in green affinity, but he's probably, he could also throw in a Rodos. Should I go with, Marichka. I mean, he throws in a Rodos. Ugh, I don't know what to do there. Let's just keep this for now. Rodos is gonna clap if he if he has a Rodos. I mean, I, I I'm forced to ban Armands here. I guess I could throw in a Quintus, but my issue is he's just gonna be faster than me, straight up faster with the forty percent speed aura. Because he's probably going to ban, I would assume he's going to ban my Arbiter. But it's also possible he bans Marichka. And he has a lot of Polymorph. Oh yeah, he's definitely going faster now. He's definitely going faster. So we need to bring in... Hmm. Should I bring in Hefrak here? But he's missing gear though. I took off gear from him. So maybe we just throw in Staltus. I could throw Staltus or actually, you know what? I can throw in Rodos technically. Um, This is a tough fight. I, I mean, I kind of have to ban Armands or else I'm just going to lose from the stuns. Yeah, he banned Arbiter. The only way I can win this, I mean... Baron's going to try to one-shot. He's got pinpoint accessories on Odin as well. I think it's a yeah one-turn pinpoint. 
Yikes. Annie removed my, my buff here with my stone skin. Annie's stunning. Yeah, it's... It's not looking good. It's not looking good, y'all. He already took out my Remerch guy. He got lucky with the with the stuns. Now he's sleeping as well. Um. Yeah, I think this is it. Unless I can wake up and take a turn. Nope. Everybody's got blocked damage now, too. Oh, God. He's messing me up. He's taking too many turns. He's way too fast. This is why they say that speed wins in this game, pretty much. Let's go ahead and do this. Do this. She's going to instant revive. Uh, yeah, she's going to win. Maybe I should have went for the Seafy, honestly. I don't know why I did that. I should have went for the Seafy. Should have went for the Seafy. Um, he shouldn't have his ability back. That's good. That's actually good. I could. No, he's going to sleep me. He's going to sleep me. Yeah, it's over. Um, yeah, she took double double turns. Yeah, I can't win. GG's. Yeah. Uh, that sucks. So, I I should have went for the CFI. I I could have won if I went for the CFI. Damn. I should. Yeah. That sucks. It is what it is. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Should have went for CFI, and then I should have went for Odin. Or no, CFI then Baron. Does Odin have a revive though? I don't know. I don't remember if Odin has a revive. I don't think so. Does he? I got to double check this afterwards. All right, let's do it. He's going to go with Armand. So I haven't picked first in the last. This would be two in a row now. Let's go with the Mikage Arbiter. I still haven't saved up enough essence to get a four star Arbiter, but I am trying to like sort of I'm sort of like a generalist in this game where all of my champions are it's spread across the board instead of focusing on like five or ten champions because I love PvE. I love PvP as well. It's why I play it so often, but I really love PvE. That's my favorite part of the game. I do. I mean, mm, Live Arena I love too, but but I love Curse City. Like some people hate Curse City. I actually really love Curse City. So let's see. Um, Sun Wukong. So he's going with Green Affinity. Can't bring in Staltus. It's completely neutered by the Duchess. I need blue affinity. So I need something like this. Like a Foley. As well as... Hmm. I could bring in her. Do I have another speed champ though? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to bring in Marichka. And he's probably going to bring in... I feel like he's going to bring in UDK and ban my Foley. I, I don't know why I have that feeling, but I just... I feel like that's going to happen. No UDK. Wow. So, Sigfrind. That's crazy. Okay. Well, with this one... He's going to sleep. I think I got to bring in Rotos. He might ban Foley here. It makes sense to ban Foley. Because he can sleep Rotos, but then he's going to wake him up potentially. Actually, no. He he just will wait to use the Sigfrin big ability. Like, I think the best move for him would be to ban Foley. And then... Okay, well, I'll take it. So... Stone Skin Marichka is the only thing I've got going on. And then I've got Speed on my Makage. I'm also considering rebuilding my Makage. I want her to be even faster. We beat him in the speed race, which is nice. Uh, You know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Because we're actually pretty fast here. I can put on the Strengthen. Should I put on the Strengthen now or just try to kill here? Yeah, let's try to just do this. That sucks. All right. Um... Try to take out the Duchess. What? Oh, God. It's 
gonna sleep. Please don't take stone skin. Please, 50-50. Damn it! That happens all the time. Alright, so if he goes for the nuke, I mean, we're gonna revive, but then he can kill us with the Sigfrin. So the nuke would be the best move. Okay, that was not very smart. Now it automatically transforms him. He should have gone with the, the A2. Um, I mean, I can, I can definitely heal. I can't put strength on him, unfortunately, but I can stun. And then we can kill... Like, he could still technically go for the nuke if he wants, but I'm going to take out right here and then try to get an extra turn. Nope, no extra turn. That sucks. All right, so now he might go for the nuke, but now he doesn't have increased attack. He could still destroy me, though. He might not kill the Marichka. Wow, yeah, no increased attack. So that sucks. Sucks for him. All right. Come out of the sheep. Nice. He has a decent AoE on this ability, but on this form, I don't think it's going to be enough to kill us. Yeah, it gives us an extra turn as well. And now we can take out... I can take... Uh, huh. Let's go ahead and take him out. Block damage there, right? Extra turn? Nope, we didn't get the extra turn. Okay. I could speed up. Actually, I don't even need to speed up. Because I'm going to take a turn with my Mikage. I can sleep. Nope, no sleep. He should only have his A1. Oh, he got his other one back. Okay. Go ahead and chunk and heal up. He can't turn back into his other form, though, I don't think, right? Once he turns into this form, I think that's it. So he's pretty much just done here, right? Take him out. Take him out. All right, word. Foley, or uh, Rotos for the win. Foley did some damage, too. Only got 238,000, so he actually did more damage than Rotos from the initial AoE. So we'll take that. Not a bad fight. Five wins, one loss so far. I should I should honestly have six wins right there. Let's do it. Let's go for the dubskies. Hopefully you guys are having a great day or a great evening. Time of this recording, by the way, is what's today? Wednesday. I'm doing the 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. time slot, Eastern Standard Time. Of course, I always say that because these videos are like pre recorded and then I edit them and then I post them either the next day or a few days later, depending on when I want to edit my videos. So, but this one, like I said, I may do very little editing. So there's going to be a lot of pauses in between. You're going to be waiting. Again, let me know what your thoughts are. Do you like to have videos that are more edited where it's skipping through a lot of the pauses and breaks in between the videos? Or do you like me to go unfiltered and just play out the entire video? Let me know. I'm actually really interested to know that in the comments down below. It's going with Arbiter and Mikage. That's usually the pick I do all the time against Armands. It's a really solid uh, pick to go against them course trying to beat him in speed or trying to force the opponent to not pick all speed because if he didn't pick this I would go with Arbiter and Mikage but if we want to try to tank I need green affinity I also need green affinity because I can I can cheese it I need Marichka so we're going to take Wukong right away so I could bring in a UDK and I could completely cheese. But the other issue is if he has Mezamel, if he has Eva, if he has another block revive like Foley, then of course Sun Wukong is going to be washed. He does have Lydia. 
A lot of people are bringing in Lydia's these days. I wonder if a lot of people are trying to get pinpoint on Lydia. You could bring her in more often, but mostly it's just because of the fact that they're trying to make it so Sun Wukong doesn't revive. Um, but little does he know, because he has a baseline Makage, I'll probably just ban the, the Arbiter. And then I can go ahead, because he has red affinity, blue affinity, and void. Again, I can just bring in Alika. Six star. She's at 300 speed. She's going to lock everybody out. And, and she does good damage. So. And then lastly, he's not going to bring in a UDK. It's almost impossible that he would do that. However, I think I'm just going to bring in Sammy Boy. I do love Samson. Actually, he, I'm going to bring in Bombs because he has no, no polymorph. Um, he's going to bring in a cleanser and I'm just going to go ahead and ban the cleanser. So stone skin on the bombs, which gives us a chance as well. Assuming that he doesn't cleanse the stone skin off my Marichka or my Nishak or even my Armands. If he bans Marichka instead of Armands, uh, what is he doing? What is he doing? I probably also could have gone with the Tormund here too. Well, if he goes too fast, I mean, technically I just do this. Yeah. Oh, I should have went with the higher speed. I, I accidentally misclicked there. I should have went with the, um, the Sun Wukong 28% of speed instead of 24%. But honestly, the stone skin on my champions is going to be fine. His Makage being blocked there, uh, banned causes him to not be able to strip the stone skin and because he has what no polymorph he's gonna get bombed i mean he might even just quit potentially unless he can do enough damage but lap us take enough turns so he could kill the alika he could kill the sun wukong but he won't be able to kill these two without insane damage from this guy heaven cast is great on him for more damage but that's more of a hydra build pve as compared to pvp so let's see what he does i mean he's gonna obviously nuke down both of these guys he is also oh he's blue affinity so he's positive affinity against my sun wukong <clears throat> okay here comes the nuke let's see Taking a while there. He's only level 91, so I don't expect him to win. Yeah, not nearly enough damage. Um, and we can do this. So he cleanse. Resisted. We take a turn. We lock him out. And that's it. And then we just go ahead and bomb him down again. Or um, bomb him so he can't. Oh my god. <laughs> Couldn't even get a chance to do the bombs. Nishak actually hits crazy hard too. You could build him for pure damage if you wanted to, but the bombs is what you really want to build him for. Like I have no damage on him. He's just very... His supports were not tanky at all. Like He has literally no damage. He's at 47 crit rate and 79 crit damage, as low as possible. But he has 6,000 attack, 270 speed... 586 accuracy and I put eagle eye on him polymorph as well because I mainly use him in arena and then I got four piece perception and then four piece stone skin just one turn and it works amazing it works amazing so attack here these are terrible terrible stone skin um, accessories terrible 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 this I tried to re-roll and it re-rolled into defense with double speed flat or double attack flat speed. <laughs> that would be nice. Uh, and then one attack percent. And of course, you can't rework these pieces again. And then this one I reworked as well to try to get attack with accuracy. But instead, it rolled into HP. It was defense before and then it rolled into HP. So it is what it is. We did get attack for the ascension here and attack for the ascension here to give him some more uh, damage from the bombs. And of course, eventually, we'll get some better stone skin. Did I get any actually recently? Oh, I did. Okay, this was recent from the Hydra boss. But of course, double flat stat defense. 
and then I have no silver. So, but this one right here would automatically be an upgrade regardless if I can max it out. Um, and I'm probably not going to reroll it because eh, I don't know if I want to risk it. I could, but again, don't know if I want to risk it. This one, I can rework this at some point if I want to. This was on, who was this on? I don't remember who this was on. Maybe it was on like, I don't know. Hmm. Either way, stone skin there, six, six star, six star defense percent stone skin with speed. I could potentially rework this in the future, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's get back into the fights though. Actually, no, it, it ended. It already ended. So we ended up getting what? How many wins? Six wins and one loss. That's not bad. That's not bad. We're at sil sitting at 45, 48 for a placement. 52% win rate. Not terrible. We'll take it. And then in terms of the area bonus, I did upgrade Hydra. I've been focusing on Hydra and focusing on cursed city bonuses. So I upgraded speed first, and then I'm moving on to damage, and then moving on to resistance and accuracy for Curse City. Resistance is actually really big in Curse City. I think I'm going to focus on resistance just for my support champions, because there's a lot of CC champions, especially in Soul Cross. Soul Cross can be a pain in the ass for sure. Like right now, I have one this is normal mode, so that one's easy. I can beat the whole thing. But for hard mode, I'm stuck here, and I need more resistance. I do have sometimes run this, but I can't seem to get past. I just need to re-gear everybody, to be honest. And I do have that free re-gear that they gave to us. If I just re-gear everybody, honestly, I'll be fine. And I did get a six-star snorting thug on one of my previous videos uh, for the Awakening. So I upgraded snorting thug just for this one floor. That's it. I put him pretty slow, but he's got, he's a damage dealer. He's got, this is his bigger hitting ability. He has no books because again, I just built him this past week or two and he's okay. If I put some books into him for more damage, he'll be a little bit stronger with this ability and hit around maybe like, I'm going to guess 50 to 70 K damage, which is not terrible. Decent single target damage on this ability, but they have to have no buffs. If they have buffs, it's literally half the damage. So that's what sucks about this ability. I mean, he's not a super strong champion in general, but for Curse City, this is where you're going to use Snorting Thug. That's about it. He's still not even that strong. You can also put him in like a, a stun set accessory. He has an interesting passive. 30% chance of stealing a random buff from the attacker when he's hit. Occurs once per turn. And then counterattacks the attacker if they have no active buffs. So if you put him in a stun set... He could counterattack the attackers with no buffs and then potentially place a stun. So he's not bad. He's just not amazing either. But for this area and the game, yeah, he's decent. Also would consider throwing in Ursine Ice Crusher here as well. This guy's also super strong. Got the decreased crit rate and block active skills, which is really nice. And then decrease the damage all allies receive from critical hits by 15% which is really strong in Curse City. Fills this champion's turn meter by 5% whenever an enemy lands a normal, strong, or weak hit, and you'll see him constantly gain turns. So I started leveling him up too in case I wanted to utilize him for future content in Curse City. So yeah, and he has HP in all battles by 25%, which is also good for Curse City. So those are these are very good picks for this stage for Curse City. Um, if I can beat this stage... It opens up everything, and I can pretty much beat most of this. The issue is having silver to re-gear the champions to beat it. And so I would need to focus all my time in re-gearing, and that's why I won't be able to possibly beat this rotation. I haven't actually beat a rotation yet, but I've come close with like four stages left, and I just didn't have enough silver and enough champions built to beat it. So we're getting closer and closer to clearing rotations. It's just a matter of time and rebuilding champions so yeah not too bad there anyways that's gonna be it for this one guys thank you so much for watching really appreciate it if you stuck around this far and i will see you on a video soon take care